So you remember yesterday we read the story called Saving Salila's Turtle. Turtle. Well, there was sort of a problem, wasn't there? The water wasn't safe. What made the water not safe in the story? Well, the bacteria. Okay. What else? Jocelyn. The oil. All right, Sophie. Smoke. Yeah, there was lots and lots and lots of types of contamination in the river. So today we're going to talk a lot about contaminants. Who looked up the word contaminant or who wrote that one? Sophie? You want to tell us about it? Do you remember? Well, contaminant is either adding or polluting something that is good or bad. Okay. We know that there's lots of contaminants that were in the Ganges River. Many of them I hear that people contributed to the problem or adding the contaminants, right? In the environment, sometimes there are things that are unsafe or unclean, but they're not caused by people. So we're going to really look today at different types of contaminants. And Meg has dun, da, da, da. something. Oh my goodness, what is it? That we created for you. Look, here's some water. Do you think this water is contaminated? Would this be clean and safe for us to drink? No. No. There's lots of different contaminants in here. Who can raise your hand and tell me a contaminant that you can see? What do you see, Ayor? Uh, a note. This here? Yeah. Do you know what it is? Ew. It's a Band-Aid wrapper. Oh. <laughs> is that natural or artificial? Uh, artificial. Yeah, because people made that. What else, Dayton? Dirt. Okay, do you think that's a natural or artificial contaminant? Natural. It's natural contaminant. Yeah. So we're going to we're going to be thinking about that as we talk more about contaminants and pollution today. And we are going to be looking and observing a picture of a community. It shows what a community probably would be like if we went around and we saw things that were in Chelmsford or Nashua or Boston maybe. And in this picture you're going to be looking to see if you can identify, if you can see or figure out what are some sources of contaminants that might be polluting the environment. And we're also going to think about how either we or environmental engineers could solve some of these problems to make sure to either clean up and remove contaminants or to prevent them from happening in the first place. So in just one moment, you're going to work with your groups and each group has a picture. And you're going to look through your picture and see if you can find what is some sources of natural contamination and some sources of artificial contamination. So, Meg has a tray of crayons, one red and one green. You and your group are going to go sit at the table that we're going to be working on for engineering work. And you are going to go and circle what you can find is natural contamination and artificial contamination in your picture. You'll have just a few minutes to do this. So these are stuff that can pollute stuff, like this is a tire, and this is a dog because it made poop, so that's why we circle it. That has pollution also. And, and these are smoke. Yeah, and they can pollute the air. All right, here's the next set of directions. We're gonna share some of the things that you have found. So I'm going to ask you to bring your paper and your folder and your clipboard and your pencil back with you and please sit in your groups again. I'd like to see what did you find? What are some of the sources of contamination that you saw in this community? The oil. Okay. And here or here? Uh, from the boat? Yeah. The oil from the boat, okay. And the pipe leaking something into the water. All right. Mm -hmm. In the can. In the can. Is that natural or artificial? Artificial. artificial. Okay. And, that, and we saw the fish because it can poop in water. All right. So, was that natural or artificial contamination? Natural. Natural. So, if the fish is pooping in the water, what kind of contaminants is it adding? It's making the water have bacteria. Yeah. And that can make people and animals sick. There was a trash like. Like in the building. In the okay. building. Is that natural or artificial? Um, artificial. Artificial. Okay. So not now, but in one moment. And I want you to choose one source of contamination. I want you to think about what the problem is 
and how that problem could either be prevented so it doesn't happen again or cleaned up. So how are we going to solve the problem? He just has to get his car fixed and then, and then the environmental engineers could clean it up. Alright, who'd like to go first? Which group would like to go first? All right, Rima, why don't you go? Um, we had a, a problem of oil that was leaking that was leaking out of a car at, okay. when it was at the gas station getting gas. So um, we had two solutions. So um, you can clean up the oil or um, use bikes or walk or run instead of using cars. Okay. Like if you're going small short distances, then you can use a bike or something. Okay. Do you think things would be pretty different if we didn't have environmental engineers? Yeah. yeah. What might be different? Thomas. Um, there would be a lot of trash in the water and the land would be really polluted. Do you think that we would be as safe and as healthy? No. 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 All right. I am also going to be inviting you to do your very first piece of follow-up work using our iPad. We have an iPad in our classroom. I thought you might be excited. You'll have about five minutes to go outside and use the iPad to take pictures of our environment. And then after you take a picture, Rita will show you exactly how to do it, but there are um, a couple of different color choices. You're going to pick red and circle. What do you think you're going to circle? Yeah. That you find here in our environment. And you're going to click on green and you're going to circle what? Natural, Natural, contaminants. Natural contaminants. Start your work. You want to go outside? Yeah, like maybe behind the building. Yep. Yay! Of course, no one else. You can hold this. Who's, you saw it, Rishi, so why don't you hold it? It's red. Is it? Artificial or natural contamination? Artificial. Okay. What kind of contamination is in this picture? Can you mark no. any of it? Uh, the red. Red. Artificial. In lesson two, the children uh, were introduced to the larger extent of what it means to be an environmental engineer. So we really tried to take, uh, for our extension work, how can we make this real for the kids? How does it actually pertain to them in their own community?